All right, guys, here's our unit inside. So we're actually going to be doing a new return drop. Or take that humidifier off. They're having some noise whenever it runs. And there's a clicking noise. So I'm going to check with Kyle, see what we can do to help with the clicking. But what I'd like to do is build ourselves a little false wall coming down. And then mount to the false wall versus the ductwork so we don't get any of that noise resonating. We got a Vision Pro with the EIM already in place. Looking to do a new furnace. That's where they're having the issue with. And then we're going to do a matching coil to sit on top of it. They got an air conditioner. It's about eight years old. They want to keep its 410A. So we're going to remount. Make sure you remount the nozzle in there. Preferably lower it down so it's not blowing right. I looked inside there through this duct here. It's blowing right on top of our duct. So I'd like to move it down to give it some more time. Gas is there. Electric is there, but it's the old wiring, which is this one here. Run straight over and go straight to the panel from what I can tell. We're just going to run a new circuit all the way over. We got an Eaton panel. We'll just put a double pole 15 in there. Line side will stay as is. Put a new filter dryer. Return drop, we're going to do new. So they know, they already know they got the asbestos tape. So what we're going to do is cut out around it. And then just put ourselves a patch in the bottom of there and then reconnect to that. And same for there, they got some tape on there. So don't disturb it, just cut everything out. Make sure we throw it away properly. We're going to get rid of this piece of duct here. This used to feed an old out. They had an air conditioner outside and heating was in here. So that duct used to feed through there to a unit that sat outside. So we're going to get rid of this. We're going to do a new section of duct from that point to that joint there. So I'll send out a piece of duct for that. And then also I took this out and they got a damper in here that handles this way, but damper's actually this way. So we need to try and fix that or mark it so that they know what's going on. We're going to get rid of that register. It's starting to deteriorate, fall apart in there. And then we have a six inch run right there that feeds the room right behind it and uh in the ceiling on this wall they had the pipes freeze over this past winter there's hardly any heat that comes out of there so what we're going to do is cap off that supply because all i did was just tap into one that was already going upstairs seal that and then we're going to run a new six inch duct across the top over to here tie in make sure we put a supply damper in there so they can adjust what they need no walk out, so you have to go up here, and then the steps are over that way. If we do anything with PVC venting, we can just take it out that side of the house. Talked about options for getting rid of the water heater because they got an old flue that leaks like a sieve. It leaks into that bucket, so we're either going to do a flue liner through there, or we've talked about doing PVC vented appliances directly to the outside.